Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Korea. Best Korea. We're not paying attention to the game much or the world. Just gonna wait until January and then build some more buildings and I think I'll just build buildings once per year rather than do it frequently. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take some honor points. Why not? Um, we'll give some money to the clergy to make them happy. The merchants are suffering now. Man, why do they complain so much? Such whiners. Bum bum. Incorruptible. Probably one of our larger stacks stopped drilling because our general died. Who shall lead? We need another general. I need someone to teach the, the boys how to hold a sword. We need to get down to business to defeat the Huns. Right around. Wait, is that actually applicable? We're playing in China. Who are the Huns? Where are they from? Okay, as soon as January rolls around, we'll we'll take tech. Lost some claims, whatever. Don't want to lose our innovativeness, right? Okay, so yeah, every January, we'll just let's just go once every January to build the buildings. Um, they came from the north, indeed. Apparently, Spain's no longer a valid rival. Excellent, because that means we don't have to counter espionage him, and he'll hopefully stop being annoying and looking buttons and stuff against us. No, we haven't conquered much land recently. We haven't really even done a war recently. I would do wars if we had big subjects that would just go win them for me. But I don't I don't feel like microwing them right now. Being a half price trade efficiency guy. I think we already have one of those. Nope, this is a full price trade efficiency guy. We'll take the half price as a backup. I think we also have some edicts on from when I was doing those buildings. Turned off. Gotta save some money, right? Gotta be efficient. Super efficient. Suddenly land? Yes. We're basically speed fiving because I realized that it's gonna take a hundred years to get all of the harmonization done anyway. So we might as well just speed five until we have imperialism and then use imperialism. Make Russia into a tributary. Russia is the fourth rank great power. He's got 1480 dev. If he were our tributary, we would get 10, 12.5% of his annual income once per year. He makes 229 ducats a month. 228. Well, 229 times 12 times 0.125. He would pay us 343 ducats per year. 28 ducats a month in income. Is it worth going to war with him just to try to make that happen? Maybe. Probably not. All right, we are sitting at 100 mandate. I think we do go ahead and pass this next thing. Um, um. I haven't been doing much development recently. Oh well. Let's keep it on. You think an alliance with Bohemia would be good? It's fun though? True, but I mean... The goal is to just get the achievements and be done with it, right? Pretty much. Um, lose mandate, or lose less mandate. Gross. Why are we losing mandate? I don't want to lose mandate. No, we haven't conquered all the land that we need. We need this land. But it'll be much easier with imperialism. Right? Rather than try to, like, find subjects we can use to get onto this stupid little island or whatever, we could just wait till imperialism and attack literally anyone in the world. It'd be much, much simpler. You could have fun making Bohemia kill Russia, though. That is true. And I do like making AIs do stuff. But... It'd be great if the Burkers could stop being upset. Doubles exist? Yeah, it's because I passed the mandate. We lost... 20% uh, goods production efficiency everywhere, and we picked up a lot of unrest. The swing in unrest is pretty massive. At max mandate, you have negative 2.5. At 30 mandate, you have positive 2. So you lose 4.5 national unrest when you pass a reform at 100. Yeah, I mean, aren't you guys ready for the next campaign? I mean, look, I mean, <laughs> I could play slow. We could drag this out forever if you want, but 
when we don't have low mandate, we're making more than double the Ottomans, more than triple the Spa Spaniards. Like, seems kind of blobby and boring to me. It's not going to stop me from building many factories, of course, but... <laughs> Echo the Troll is is ready for the next campaign. Carling wants to just go back to 1444. <laughs> what will be the next campaign? I have no idea. What do you guys want to do? We could just choose another achievement run or we could... Uh... I think I decided that the next campaign is not going to be recorded uh, specifically for YouTube. I'm not going to do like episodes within episode while, while streaming. I might still have Long Game Short. Hopefully edit it for me, but... Oh, Trade Wars CB on Bohemia, sweet. Unlimited innovativeness, kind of shot that idea down. We, we tested it one day and it's actually ridiculously easy to calculate what the effect would be. We have too many Monarch points, I think we should get rid of them. There. They're gone. Easy. Bum, 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 bum. Just dumped like 2,000 Monarch points probably. It's fine. It was the right thing to do. They're cluttering up our, our, our interface. We're at 4,000 dev right now. Alright, we no longer have many factories to build. I want to build more, but this is including our tributaries, and I don't like that, so I'm not going to do that. Our spy system, our spies inform us that Bengal is considering attacking Ayutthaya. Okay. Cool, good for them. I wish them luck. Seems like the Ottomans have finally decided to stop attacking me. Not sure what's changed on their end, but... Finally tired of it. I think we'll do a lot of taking sides in parliaments, granting autonomy and stuff. Uh, scapegoat kills a pretty important guy. Wouldn't mind spending a few admin points right now. Diplo points is not awful. Direct money I don't want to do. I want to build buildings. We can avoid direct money, that'd be ideal. But we can't. That'd do some. We could sack army tradition, but that is awful. I'm gonna wait one more month. Bum, 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 bum. My piles of money look too scary. You think that's why he's, he's finally decided to stop attacking us? Actually, in hindsight, I wonder if spending like 900 ducats to save 10% advisor costs is actually even saving us money. We were at 70% advisor costs. Now we're at 80% reduced advisor costs. So we were spending 50% more than this. 31.25 times 0.5 is 15 ducats a month times 12 ducats per year. Debates last for just five years. It's nearly breaking even. It's almost not really making us money. Unless we have to upgrade advisors. If we have to upgrade advisors, then it's definitely making us money. Rebels! In Sang. It's not my problem. Oh god, rewarding loyalty. We need to ditch all of the tributaries. Look at this event. The scaled wealth thing, man. It's just... Just outrageous. Seven and a half thousand ducats. Or five mandate. I'm not paying that. That's outrageous. That's heresy. I am not willing to pay that. Do another starting country opening moves, Perm, Fair, or Pskov? That could be a good idea. Yeah, I think I think talking about what to do for the next campaign is a great topic because this can basically go on in the background. I don't I don't need to think very much about what we're doing right now. Harmonize the Pope. Bunch of stuff just happened. Okay, fine. 
We are 51% of the way harmonized with the Muslim group. Unfortunately, our harmony will fall below 50 soon, and uh, we're going to start taking penalties. We're going to have unrest problems. Development costs will go up. It's bad, and it'd be better to delay harmonizing more religions, but ultimately to just get the achievement checked off. We'll do it anyway. Tall campaign sounds fun. We, we killed Ming in this campaign, so we can't really say we went tall, but I feel like we went pretty tall in this campaign, didn't we? I mean, the development map mode doesn't really indicate it super well, but Korea's pretty freaking developed. 20 is like a floor. Two provinces at over 40. That's a lot of monarch points just to gain two, two production. Thanks. Taller. Like how tall? Are we talking like Ulm to 100 development? Tall? Or what? Must go taller? Oh, yeah, Spain. Spain's declared on us now. Alright, so I guess the Ottomans are... They, they learned their lesson, but Spain has declared a show superiority colonial war. <sighs> but why Spain? I guess we can't play on Speed 5 anymore. Spain wants to contribute to the Korean Education Fund. I mean, he's going to get some war score from occupying our colonial nations, for sure. But then... I don't know. If my subjects are stupid, he might end up getting a fair bit of... He might get a fair bit of war score from battles. Based on that. You can steal his colonies? That would require me to actually, like, micro a war. Uh, we have how many transports? Could we actually do it? 55 transports, we have 55 heavies. He's got more than that for sure. 102 heavies. We have access to the Mughals, no access through Akiyunlu. We have no relationship slots. No, we do have one. I think we could just, we should just march on Spain. March through the Mughals, march through Akinlu, march through the Ottomans, march through Austria, march through France, and then we just attack Spain. I think we're tired of this, this old world shit. This nonsense where they keep on thinking they can just come over here and take our stuff. That's what I think. I think this is outrageous. So we're gonna march an army to like, here. I think we send over probably 200k troops. Just 200, that's all. This is, like I said, this is going to take a while though. This is going to slow down our, our speed 5 a lot. And it's going to cause us, cause us to suffer a lot of attrition as well. And lose all of our beautiful drill. Our poor soldiers. We lost our level 5 guy, land maintenance modifier guy, land force limit guy, fort defense, discipline guy can't be promoted, manpower guy, I guess, probably just land maintenance guy is fine. We still do want to drill, if possible, with some of the troops, the ones that are going to be fighting if they actually come, come over here. But we need generals, and six just doesn't feel like very many. You gonna lose all of our drill before we arrive? Probably not. I think we'll be okay. A few more months, our fleet will be repaired. We should check to see if we have a shipyard anywhere. Um, shipyards increase local ship repair. Uh, apparently we have them all over the place, so it won't take very long. Right, how many did I branch off? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is not 200,000 troops. One more. Alright, I, I 
not gonna bother trying to micro this. Just march there, all of you go. Bum, 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 bum. And just because we're at war doesn't mean we can't invest in the education of our children. Like our fleet is active. Uh, nope, that's the light fleet. We might want to hire an actual admiral. Might also be a good idea to get our light flagship back home and use its movement speed bonus to help intercept enemy ships. We should spread out a little bit. If I stagger their movement, then we can kind of get them to avoid some of the attrition ticks. So be it. The Great March does begin. Yeah, these guys are just gonna have to hang out for a sec. I'm gonna tell them to go... Go to, like, here. You go to, like, here. And after you've done that, you're allowed to try marching here. Is France dead yet? He's been on the decline. Yeah, he's he's dying. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Makassar just gave us 16 ducats. I don't really know what to think about that. Um, Alright, come on. Give me give me the ship durability trait. Do it. Just do it. That's not ship durability. Oh well. Um, um. Let's see, do we get access to anyone else yet? Akinlu. Ottomans. Okay. Oh god, even though I'm trying to spread these idiots out, they're just so stupid that they're... I, I, I really don't want to bleed all the drill off, that's the thing, like... Not to mention the game runs so much more poorly while you're at war. I don't care about the manpower at all. We have tons of manpower. We're not even losing manpower. Oh, gain mandate, but lose harmonization progress? Or gain nine harmonization progress? It is going to affect our combat ability and stuff, but yeah, harmonization all the way. Area-based supply, yeah, seriously. Where have I heard that before? I feel like someone's mentioned that. Please stop suffering attrition, you idiots. That's the thing, like, um... The attrition doesn't harm our manpower, and it doesn't even cost us money to do the re reinforcement, but we've already lost, like, 22% drill on <laughs> all these armies, because they keep on suffering attrition, because it's just stupid to walk separate from each other without me microing it. But once we get there, once we get there, how, how much access do we have? We can get all the way over to France right now. Sweet. Let's just do that. I'm going to try speed 5, because <laughs> I don't care. And I don't think that they're even going to try to harm us, so whatever. I mean, we have we have one war score. We're winning. We're winning! Look! Technically, we're winning. Awesome. There are some ships here. Uh, where's our combat fleet? They should actually maybe consider hunting enemy fleets in the eastern Indian Ocean instead of the East China Sea. Because they are going to try to land a little bit. Frankenstein. Why not deck war on them along the way? No. No, I would not expect the AI to, uh... Here's the thing, um... The AI knows where your armies are, but they pretend that they don't. They pretend they don't by only knowing and only reacting up to two provinces into the fog of war. If I say go here onto his fort, they're gonna know I'm coming because that's my arrival target. They'll know about that. But if I just say go to some random location that's more than two provinces away from their territory, these armies are actually truly effectively invi invisible and the AI will not see them coming. So he's not gonna just show up in the Mughals territory with a 300 sec. That's not gonna happen. 
Apparently we're losing 40,000 manpower. I don't care. That is a choo-choo train. Well, it's finally spread out enough that looks like we're not actually suffering attrition. We're only sending 200k. Out of like 300. We could field up to 500,000 altogether. But I'm I'm trying to avoid over-militarizing because I'd rather just make money. And educate the children. This is now the university map mode. The education of the of the future children of Korea is almost complete. <laughs> Out of curiosity, we have 328 provinces. We're spending 257 gold each time. 57 times 328. We're spending just like, you know, 84,000 ducats on the education of our children. Never, you know, never say. This is, you should quote me on this one. Uh, Roomba educates the kids. I teach them how to read good. I don't, I don't ignore the future. Alright, we should probably consider putting maneuver guys in the back to try to get them to the front just a little bit quicker. Since we are kind of spread out. And we should make sure that the front army does have a good commander for combat. Otherwise, it could get in trouble. I just saw something, something about Spain. Was that a siege or a battle? Naval battle. Okay, it's fine. <sighs> Spain's screwing up my uh, speed five plan. They burnt one of my colonies just now. Rude. We take tech early. Um, I'd rather not. I think we just do dev again. Mill tech early would be nice though. Why does he have 200k men taking a vacation in Spain? Because Spain attacked us. And I'm I'm not going to just stand by idly and let it happen this time. I'm going to go invade his stupid level 1 AI fort. We're going to go burn it down. I think we'll strengthen government to get the meritocracy back up a little bit. That extra little bit of advisor cost reduction is pretty strong. We just lost prestige from that event? Did, was that our flagship dying? Could have been. Get a fleet over here. Yeah, I think that's what that was. For some reason, my light fleet is in... South Africa. In Okay, so did they occupy like everything on the coast or something? So our fleet decided to come home? I think our flagship's dead. Fleet, the ship can just come home. Whatever. And then once you get home, just join the Beijing protection. Let's just check to see. Can we build a flagship? Yes. The fact that we can build a flagship means that yes, that was a lost flagship. We could build a heavy flagship now. We're so spread out in uh, the way that we're using our navy that lose mandate to gain admin points. Or lose a whole bunch of meritocracy. Yeah, these events have been pretty awful recently. Yep, they killed the flagship. I've already forgotten what we called it, but... This army's also kind of on the front line, so I want to make sure that we've got a general in charge of it. And then we can take an age bonus. Cool. Bum, bum. The exotic goods of Tidori. Great efficiency. Or game mandate. Mandate's good. It'll help out against Spain when we actually get there. We're almost there! We've got armies in uh, mountains of Tyrol and you know whatever these things are called, the Alps. God damn it! As soon as I gain mandate, I lose mandate. What the hell? Remember, I was just said that they they basically do not actually know where your army is. Uh, hopefully, you can see that that is true. They're not responding to our march. Did I bring any elephants? Um. No cavalry. It's they're just level two fort siege stacks because AI Spain, who has second rank great power, um, who has three hundred and fifty four ducats a month in income, can't afford to upgrade his forts past level two on Miltech twenty one. So 
Yeah. Now, we're not going to go and actually try to engage these forts until we have at least, I'd say, 100,000 of the troops uh, converged. Because as soon as we do start trying to do anything, he will start to respond. By keeping taking a province in Spain. Our, our colonial range doesn't let us get all the way to Spain. We have a colonial nation in the region of California. They do not. So we can't, like, seize their colonial region. I I don't know what we're going to do, do to them. I just, I just really, 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 really hope that when we win the Fort Siege of Madrid, we get the event that devastates it to 100%. That's all I care about. That's all I want. Oh, apparently we're at war with Austria now. He called in Austria. Okay. And some of our troops are in the middle of, uh, middle of Austria. Okay, cool. Well, that does sort of change the situation a little bit. Let's, uh, take a short break here. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll be back in the next episode. I guess we're going to murder Austria too now. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.